it's interesting to try and understand how entrepreneurs are created. And, and I, I, I don't think it's something that's taught. I think that generally people have either a personality quirk or they're exposed at a young age or one day they wake up and they say, you know, I want to tilt at windmills. I, I want to engage in high risk activities and I you know, want to wake up every day and I want to marry uncertainty and I want to ride into battle and come what may, that's going to fascinate me. And it's as motivating to have a bad day as it is to have a good day. And security is not something that's around. And if that's what you enjoy, um, it's a lot like wildcatting, walking out into the Texas tundra, you know, and saying, okay, I want to start drilling for oil right here. I don't know, is there oil there? I don't know. My first business was 90% derivation and 10% application. And this business has been not quite, but almost 90% application and 10% derivation. Um, what really was wonderful is that I spent nine to 10 years learning. And I now spent the last eight years at Acme Packet implementing. And I understand why serial entrepreneurs have a lot of value to folks that want to invest in building new enterprises. The degree that you've learned and the effectiveness with the result is so different. As the enterprise grows, as more value is realized, as there are more constituents who are pulling you potentially in many different directions, always have a compass. Always know who you are, what you're about, and what the line is you want to travel. Always. Never come off it. And that relates to how you run the business, how you do your financial accounting, how you articulate your value proposition, how you decide to delegate, how you decide to deal with tough decisions, and ultimately whether you buy, sell, or go, or go public as a company, that, that to me is most important.